What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to buy the new Radeon graphics card that they just announced recently. Now, last month I made this video called How to Buy an RTX 3070 and it got 70,000 views. So, I started getting messages on Instagram and YouTube and people asked me to see if I can make a new tutorial for the new graphics card because things have changed after I made this video. So let me go ahead and go over what happened, okay? So after making this video, the website that I use, Uptime Robot, actually started charging for the service. When I made the video, I was able to get it free for the like 10 messages or something like that. But after making the video, they started charging people. So I got a lot of comments and questions on why that is. And to be honest, they probably got overloaded after I made the video, to be honest. So uh, if you haven't seen that video, it's okay. I'm pretty much going to show you how you can set this uptime robot to notify you when the new AMD Radeon graphics card is available on Best Buy. So you can go ahead and purchase one because people are crazy and they actually use bots to buy them. But this right here is different. The bots are just letting you know it's available. And after that, pretty much the wild, wild west. It's spamming a lot of uh, add to cart. <laughs> so that's just a little spoiler. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go to Best Buy. If we go right here, we're going to search for Radeon 6800 XT. It's the newest one that they came out with, which is pretty good for the price, to be honest. it's uh, I think it's like 16 gigs, if I remember correctly, and it's right here. MSI Radeon, that is the a MSI one. So I'm actually going to do the actual... Uh, AMD Radeon right here, which is the 6800 XT. So this is what we are going to be monitoring using Uptime Robot. So the first thing we're going to need is the actual link to this product page. And we already, we're already in there. So go ahead and copy that. And then we're going to go to Uptime Robot, which like I said, it's probably not free anymore. And the first thing we're going to do is set up our notification. How do we want to get notified when the graphics card is in stock? So if we go to my settings here, as you can see, I have two alert contacts already. But for you, if this is your first time, go to add alert contact, pro SMS is text message, email. I would suggest going with a text message because it is the fastest. And that's how I was able to get a 3090 from Best Buy. Put a name in there, put the country, put your cell phone number, and then you want to monitor up and down events. I left it as up and down events because it was just more accurate. And I'm going to explain what that is here in a second. So after that, let's go ahead and create alert contact. I already have it right here as a cell phone. So that's good to go. And I also have an email. That being said, let's go ahead and create this monitor. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the top left corner, add a new monitor. We're going to go with keyword and I'm going to put GPU. AMD, and then I'm going to copy and paste it again just to make sure from the Best Buy website right here. And after that, we copied and pasted it there. We're going to put the keyword. So the keyword for this website right now, as you can see, is coming soon. Spelled just like that. We're going to put it right here. Coming soon. All right. And then right here, you're going to see alert when keyword exists or keyword does not exist. We are going to put keyword not exist because what this means is if this keyword right here disappears, which usually it will turn to either add to cart or it will, or it will turn to coming soon or it will turn to out of stock. So right here, and that's one of the changes that Best Buy made was this keyword right here changes now from coming soon and out of stock. So you have to check this every now and then if you're getting false positive to see if they change the keyword. So you can go ahead and change the keyword here. So right now it's coming soon and we're going to leave it as coming soon. And I'm going to say, notify me when that coming soon doesn't exist anymore. Cause I know it's either going to be add to cart or it's going to be out of stock. So that's good. 
for the monitoring interval. If you have a free version like I do right now, because I canceled the pro version, you can only do it every five minutes. That means the page is gonna refresh every five minutes. But if you buy the pro version, you can get this to one minute interval, which is that's how I was able to get the RTX 3090. I bought the pro version and then canceled it after a month. So that, if you bring this down to one minute, it's so fast, it refreshes it a lot faster than the free five minutes. So with that being said, I'm gonna say phone, notify me via cell phone. So I'm gonna create that monitor and I'm gonna close it. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is press enter and I'm gonna refresh just to make sure that um, it's in there. And it looks like it started right here. So you can see, and I'm gonna refresh it again because what we wanna see is this thing here turn green. We want that to turn green so that we know that it's actually activated. And there you go. Keyword is found and now I am set up. So that means that whenever this changes to add to cart, this website is going to send me a text. And then when I get that text, I'm either going to go back to the Best Buy website, but I was able to get the RTX 3090 via the app because it was so much faster on spamming the add to cart. So that's what I'm gonna show you right now without actually showing the app. So let's pretend that this website is actually the app. Whenever this turns to add to cart, keep tapping add to cart, add to cart. It doesn't matter if you're getting error messages. I literally had to do add to cart for five minutes straight. Add to cart, add to cart, add to cart for five minutes straight until it says you can't add it to cart because you can only purchase it one at a time. That means that you actually have one in your cart and that's when the time starts. When it says you can't add anymore, go to your cart and do your checkout as fast as you can. You can either set up via Apple Pay, you can set up via PayPal, but be ready to have your credentials and your passwords memorized because sometimes for me, it asked me to verify my email and my address so be prepared for that checkout process because Best Buy is doing this to verify that you are actually indeed a person trying to purchase this graphics card rather than just a bot okay so keep spamming the add to cart even if you're getting an error message hopefully it will go through and man when it happens there you go 649.99 for the new Radeon RX 600 XT Alright guys, if you have any questions, let me know and good luck.